of the Scott Hesco with Rod Hesco's most accurate report. Hey, come here. I gotta do it. Come on, quick hug. You and me. It's late. Oh, how are you? Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the cards. We'll get to all that after the weather, but I just want to say it off the top. And speaking of being away, it's been a while. June 24th, my first day in the hospital. So what has happened since that time? Well, before I got sick, it was uh, going along great. When I was in my 20s, I kind of decided to make a career change and to go into meteorology because I loved weather so much and I loved forecasting. You know, I was going to work, having fun, doing what I loved. Family life was great. You know, I had the typical hopeful, fabulous life you want to have, you know? And then by March, that's when I started feeling really bad for very, very acutely, all of a sudden. The first night I came to the hospital, they told me, you're going to need a pacemaker. You're kind of floored when you hear that. When I first got the pacemaker, I was feeling good again. And then I was told a month after, your heart didn't recover, you're gonna need a new heart. And then as we got into like, you know, April, May, June last year, that's when it really hit the fan and I had to, you know, I had to go in. If I, if I wasn't gonna go in then, I wasn't ever going to have a shot. First week or two, you know, you're missing your family and they're coming up, but you know, they can't come up every day. So that became increasingly more difficult on my wife, I think. I can't imagine how hard it was for her. I basically didn't think much about the transplant process until I had to. Someone's worst day could be your best, right? Um, so it's very hard to, to resolve that in your mind. You know, one donor can save how many lives, not just not a heart, but a liver, a kidney. It's unbelievable what good you can do. So the end of the road came on day 85. When nurses would come down the hall to see me, it usually would be because they think I have collapsed. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'd run down. So this time she goes, we have a, a great heart for you. And when I heard that, I said some words that I want to tell you now, and I cried, and I hugged her, and then it became like this crazy movie. The last few moments before it was getting close, I just lay there in peace. If I didn't make it out of it, I'm gone already, it's okay. But if I get back, then we're gonna have a new focus on how we approach everything. So then the anesthesiologist said, you know, it's go time, put the mask on me, that was it, lights out. You'll never forget that day. You know immediately when something has changed, and it's like getting a new engine, man. You know, when I woke up in the ICU, it felt natural. I wanted to find out what the record was to get out of the hospital so I could beat that record. And I got out the day before, that was the record. I got out in nine days. Coming home was scary, because you're so dependent on all these people to keep you healthy, and now they say, hey, you know what, you're good. Here's the drugs, there's like 800 of them. No, but seriously, that first day was awesome. It was weird to get in the car. I rolled down the window and just breathed, breathed in the air and looked at the trees, everything was still in color and, and just felt like, ah, nature, don't take advantage of this again, you know? The stuff that matters is the stuff I'm gonna focus on. It's the time you spend with your family and it's where you go with your family that you're gonna look back on. It's my job to, to honor this donor's heart, to be as best as I can be and live as hard as I can because I know that donor would have done that for themselves. There's so few people signed up and there's such a desperate need for it. Why on earth is that? Is if we all took that step to donate or to be willing to donate someday, then everybody that needs one might have a shot. And again, you can't take them with you. You can, but why? Why take them with you? Keep them here, let them work a little longer. You know, they got some life left in them. Let them, let them work a little longer, you know? Give someone a shot. Look for late day rain and or wet snow showers as we get toward the evening tomorrow. So much more to talk about. You know it. I'm happy to be back. News 8 at just after 11 starts right now.